It's draft week, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. We're kicking off this week with a Philadelphia Eagles mock draft. I had to do an Eagles one. It's draft week. I'm super excited to be here. So in the first round, I want to watch how the board kind of falls and see if there's a potential spot for us to move up in the draft. I read some press releasings this morning, and it looks like Howie Roseman has been on the phone gauging what it's going to cost to move up in the draft. If a guy like Quinion Mitchell falls into that 12 to 17 range, I definitely think the Eagles and Howie Roseman could potentially move up in the draft to go get a guy like Quinion Mitchell. I do like Terry and Arnold. I like Cooper DeGene. But I don't know if I'm trading one of my second round picks, because the Eagles have two of them, to go up to get one of those guys. I think Cooley McKinstry, Terry and Arnold, Cooper DeGene, and some of the other guys are kind of similar in skill set in that area. The only guy at cornerback I'm trading up for is Quinion Mitchell. So we'll see how this board plays out and see if there's a potential for us to move up and grab the number one corner in the NFL draft. All right, Eagles fans, let's mock it. All right, Eagles fans, we're going to put our GM hat on just like we're live in the draft room. The first 10 picks are in. No real big surprises. Jamie J. McCarthy going at six is a pretty big surprise. The Falcons go in offensive line, and then Terry and Arnold go into the Jets, who already have a really good defense. Doesn't really make a lot of sense to me, but if Quinion Mitchell is on the board around 16 or 17, I'm going to pull the trigger and move up and get him for a trade. 11 or 12 or 13, I think it's going to be a little too rich for what I want to give up for the Eagles. I really don't want to give up one of our two second round picks to move up only a couple spots. Quinion Mitchell's my guy, but everyone else is kind of in the same basket to me. So let's see how these next few picks play out. And then, yeah, Quinion Mitchell went 13 to the Raiders. So we're just going to let the draft board play out and see where we're at at pick 22. I don't see a player that I love so much that I want to move up to get. So let's see how the board plays out. All right. The Eagles are up at pick 22. Oh boy. Our guy, Laiatu Latu, is on the board, and he was one of the top 30 guys that came in for those top 30 draft interviews. And I think if Laiatu Latu is on the board at pick 22, the Philadelphia Eagles seriously have to consider taking him. In my opinion, he is far and away the best pass rusher in this class. He's got amazing pass rush moves. He's got really quick hands, 96th grade. Are you kidding me? And look, he had the best games against really good offensive programs. Look what he did to Kayla Williams and USC. A 93.7 grade to one of the best offenses in college football. This guy is unstoppable. 15 sacks. Guys, I'm drafting my Atu Latu all day long. Look at all these good things about him. He's got a repertoire of very diverse pass rush moves. He's just a ball hawk, man. He's like Brian Dawkins, but coming from the edge. And in Vic Vangio's scheme, he is going to be a superstar. If the Eagles get him, book 10 sacks. Come back to this video at the end of the season next year. And as long as he stays healthy, which there are some health concerns. He had to medically retire from college football a few years ago because of next stuff. But if he clears the medicals, you got to draft Laiatu Latu. All right, Eagles fans. The birds are picking at picks 50 and 53. Let's take a look at the board and see how it played out. Do we draft Edger and Cooper too and just have two unbelievable linebackers? That's a very interesting pick. But for me, the Eagles need a cornerback, and my favorite corner on the board right now is TJ Tampa. The last two years, very good player. Three interceptions the past two years. And look at the quarterback rating, 2021-130 down to 70 in 2022, and then passer rating only a 54.8 against him. That's absolutely incredible progress. He's got great size, 6'2", 200 pounds, and he's from Norristown. Let's bring TJ Tampa back to the Philly area. The birds are picking him in the second round. All right, only a few picks later. Luckily, Bo Nix was one of those guys selected, so we pretty much have a clean board, right? We could go Edger and Cooper, but I doubt they're going to go two linebackers in the first three picks. 
So I think we want to address offensive line with this second pick. So I want to go into your offensive line and tackle and see where the best got. Kieran Amangaje is a very, very good player. He's got great size, great hand usage, 89 grade, 6'5", 318. So he's right on the cusps of being a little bit too small to be a tackle in the NFL, but you could always swing him into guard. The flexibility that he gives the Eagles is amazing because he can kind of be a backup swing tackle to Lane Johnson and Malata, but he could also pop in at the guard position. Kieran Amungaje is going to the birds in the second round. Unfortunately, the Eagles do not have a third round pick this year. So we're in the fourth round, pick 20, and this guy has been rumored to be going to Philadelphia for quite some time. They really, really like him. Audric Estime, the running back from Notre Dame, 94 grade last year, elusive rating 126, rushing grade 94. This guy's a monster, man. Over 6.4 yards per carry, 1,341 yards. I don't think he gets to pick 161 for the Eagles, so I'm picking him maybe a little bit early, but to get a guy like this in the fourth round, Audric Estime is going to the birds to be a compliment to Saquon Barkley. All right, the Eagles are on the clock, pick 161 in the fifth round. We have a bunch of picks coming up. And if I'm looking through the board, a guy that I've been scouting a lot lately is to Camarion Richardson from Mississippi State. Very, very good player, 86.4 grade. And he's solid everywhere, solid coverage percentage. Pretty good in the run game, pretty good man-to-man. -man. To get this guy in pretty much the sixth round, very, very interesting pick. The passer rating is definitely a little higher than I would like to see, but 6'2", 195, he's got really, really good size. In the fifth round, the Eagles need all the cornerback help they can get because Darius Slay and Bradbury are not going to be the cornerbacks. Well, this season they will be, but next year they're going to be gone 100%. Tecamarion Richardson is going to the Birds in the fifth round. Now, luckily for the Eagles, we have pick 171 and 172. Zach Zinter is a guy I've always really, really liked from Michigan. And if you can be a run blocker for Harbaugh, you could definitely play in the NFL. He's just a really good player. Great size for a guard, 6'6", 322. The dude's a beast, man. Three-year starter, very good player. Didn't give up any sacks at all this year. No hits, only five hurries and 649 snaps. He's pretty solid everywhere. Zach Center is going to the Birds with pick 171. And awesome for the Birds, we get to pick again at pick 172. Walter Rose, he's a very good player too. So let's take a look at the board, see how it's looking. And now this might be a spot where we do go with another edge. Grayson Murphy, the edge defender is very solid. But at pick 172, I want to give this team a little more depth. We went outside linebacker before, so let's take a guy who's a middle linebacker. J.D. Bertrand fits in any type of scheme, right? It says he could be a 4-3 linebacker or a 3-4 Linebacker 6'1", 233. He's a little bit older at 24, but that's good. He's got a little more experience, and he can kind of be a rotational guy in the middle of the field for Vic Fangio's scheme. I like bringing in J.G. Bertrand because of his versatility. He can play middle linebacker. The Eagles are definitely short on middle linebackers that can cover and play well in the middle and stop the run. I like J.D. Bertrand at this pick, 172. All right, it's the last pick of the 2024 draft for the Philadelphia Eagles. Round six, pick number 34. I want to address the wide receiver position. Give us a little more depth. Pick us a guy who could potentially be that number three receiver at some point. Joshua Safayas from UTSA had an excellent year last year, man. 10 touchdowns, almost 13 yards per reception, 89 receptions. 1,151 yards. This guy is very, very talented. He can play in the slot. He can play outside. He's a very versatile player. 6'3", 185. Kind of a shifty slot guy. I love this pick for the birds in the sixth round. Here we are, Eagles fans. It's our Monday mock draft for the draft that is this Thursday. We crushed this draft. PFF gave us an overall A- minus grade. We got Leatu Lato, TJ Tampa, Kieran Amongaji, Audric Estime, Takum Kamarion, Richardson, Zach Sinter, J.D. Betran, and Joshua Cephaeus. We address some linebacker needs, some cornerback needs. We got a running back. We got some offensive linemen. I think 
as an Eagles fan, if we walk away with this from the draft, we're going to be absolutely out of our minds excited. Layatu Latu going to the Eagles. Ah, oh, please, Howie Roseman, draft this dude. I love him. His tape, he has some of the best tape I've seen coming out of college football from the edge in quite some time. He's an amazing player. Don't forget, guys, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. We really appreciate you tuning in to all these Eagles mock drafts. And I'll get money. And I'm going to be putting out mock drafts all week and doing a live stream on Thursday for the draft. So make sure you tune into that. Thanks again, guys. Peace.